Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and welcome to another free episode of the Cisco Kid, brought to you here on the internet by Wild West Toys. You know, Duncan Ronaldo uh, didn't for sure know where he was born, he said. He said he thought he was probably born uh, somewhere in Spain, but he was orphaned as a child and, and didn't know for sure where he was from. He ended up being a sailor. And in the 1920s, he uh, sailed to the United States and was uh, sailing with a boat that was docked in Maryland. Well, the boat caught fire at the pier and burned, stranding Duncan here in the United States. Well, he ended up in California and Hollywood and worked there for a while. But in 1934, he was arrested for being an illegal immigrant. And since he didn't know where he was born for sure, they didn't know where to deport him. So he spent a year in jail. But Herbert Yates eventually rescued him and signed him the contract and vouched for him and eventually he was pardoned by Franklin Roosevelt. Thanks for watching and we'll see you after the show. Here comes the Cisco Kid and Poncho. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, a disco kid. What do you want now, Judd? Jared, I've warned you to stop printing those lies about me. Well, not lies, Judd, the truth. I'm going to keep on until I've got a good... You've published your last paper in Sundance. Go on, wreck the place. to be big. Shame on you, Pancho. <laughs> now we can find out how far it is to Apex, huh? to run us down. What's the idea? You might call it a hint that we don't want your kind around here. What do you mean, our kind? I recognize you right off as a Cisco kid. 
It's too bad you missed him. When did Jeff hire you two? Nobody hires us, Miss. Freelance outlaws, huh? Better get on your way before you and your friend really get hurt. Oh, look, Cisco, I didn't know pistolas had babies. <laughs> that looked like it just been born this day. It's cute. <laughs> He's very cute, Pancho. Neat and trim and beautiful lines. I don't need any compliments from you. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about your gun. Will it shoot? You'll find out in a hurry if you don't get on your way. <laughs> All we want to find out is how far Apex is from here. About 20 miles. Thanks. But if we ever meet again, don't try to run us down. If we ever meet again, I'll have my old shotgun ready. There, yeah, but you want to take your time on your point that shoots gun. Never mind, Pancho. Let's go. I don't need the electric, Cisco. Maybe it's a good thing we are going to Apex. No, Pancho. We've changed our minds. We are not going there. I want to find out why that girl and the driver were so unfriendly. Anything else you can think of? Well, now that you mention it, there is. Hey, Klondike, you remember that time in Kansas when we ran a welcher out of town? Yeah, sure was a lot of fun. We can always use a good laugh. Bring something to stand him on. Step right up, folks. We're going to hold an auction. You're welcome. This item you see before you here is a no good mud slinging ex editor. And I'm going to sell him to the lowest bidder. What am I offered? Come on, folks, let's have a bid. Five dollars. Five dollars. Who'll make it three? I do. Three dollars, Confederate money. <laughs> three dollars. Do I hear two? Let my brother alone. Make it quick. Stay out of this, bitch. Now, folks, let's get on with the auction. Two bids. <laughs> I have two bits. Who will make it a nickel? One pistol. Make room, boys. We've got a new bidder. You bid one peso, stranger? Right. You shouldn't throw your money away like that. He's not worth it. No? No, it is only half a peso. That was very nice shooting. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Do I get him for this? That's just about all he's worth. Sold to the stranger in black for one plug peso. Here. Bring over the tar and feathers. I'll wrap him up for you real nice. Thank you. But I'll take him like he is. Now, you wouldn't deprive the boys of their fun, would you? The fun is over. And I say it's not. <laughs> You, and I'm glad I ain't. Get the gun. Uh, wait a minute. If you're going any place, you're going to stay here. What's going on here? Nothing at all, sir. Just a little difference of opinion between myself and that man. Judd wrecked my place, Mayor. And he was going to have me tarred and feathered. But that stranger there with you had other ideas. 
Why don't you leave town, you no good troublemaker? You'll get what's coming to you one of these days. Ah, why don't you shut up? Hey, your tongue twists like a corkscrew screw in a barrel. Pancho will shut you up. Let him go, Pancho. He's a wicked man, stranger, a wicked man, but I... I am unable to rid the town of him. You say this judge wrecked your place? Have a look for yourself. Make a move and I'll swap you again. Sis, he's on our side. He just saved my life. What beautiful stars. Cisco, what did you? I did. And I'm just the guy who can do it. The boss ain't gonna like it. He will before we get through with this job. I'm terribly sorry, Cisco. It's nothing. Nothing at all, Mr. Lane. Accidents will happen. Yeah. Same, but why have to happen to my foot? I'll see that it doesn't happen again. Gracias. This Judd, why did he wreck your plant and want to start and feather you? Because I printed the truth about him. He's behind everything that's bad in this community. Murders, holdups, and any other kind of skullduggery you can think of. What about the law? There isn't any. The mayor can't find anyone to take the job of sheriff since the last two men were killed. The things are going to be different now. I saw the commissioner at Ripley, and he promised he'd send his best deputy here by tomorrow. <laughs> All right, boys, this is it. Get those boxes and barrels out here. Let's make a barricade. out of the way. This is my fight, too. Yes, but you may get hurt. I can take care of myself. Give me a gun, Sam. Don't want to get busy. Time's up, Jared. I guess Judd won't try that again soon. I'm not so sure about that. Is there any place out of town where you and Elaine can stay? Well, I own a cabin up in Devil's Canyon about 10 miles from here. Why? Well, I think you better move there, just to be on the safe side of it. I think so, too. Also. I'll send Elaine there, but I'm staying here. I'll try to repair the press and get out another edition. You do that and you'll write your own obituary. Cisco is right, then. <laughs> and so is Pancho. And when Pancho is right, he don't make any mistakes only when he is wrong. We'll do as you say. Good. Pancho, you stay here and give them a hand with the packing. I'm going to have a talk with the mayor. We will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. I've even appealed for troops to be sent here. But Sundance could be at the North Pole as far as those politicians in Washington are concerned. They're only interested in what they want to be. And what happens to us common little people? doesn't seem to concern them at all. 
Well, the United States Commissioner in Ripley is interested. He's sending here one of his best deputies tomorrow. Uh, he is? Uh, how do you know that? Miss Jarrett told me. Uh, well, 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 that's wonderful. It's the best news I've had in months. <laughs> My friend and I will be here a few more days, Mayor. If we can be of service to you, please call on us. That's extremely generous of you, sir, and I, I thank you deeply. Uh, not only for myself, but for all the decent people in the community. Uh, you're stopping at the hotel? No, but you can get in touch with us through Ben Jarrett. Goodbye, Mayor. Uh, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. You heard what he said, Judd? Yeah. Come on, Klondike. I know a place outside of town where we can get that Cisco kid. Right between the eyes. Wait a minute. We'll take care of him later. Our immediate problem is to get that U.S. Deputy Marshal. Right. On your way. Welcome to Sundance, Marshal. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Marshal. Our troubles won't be over until Judd's dead or in prison. Hmm. Those are mighty serious charges you're making, Jarrett. But I suppose you can prove them all. Well, no, not exactly. You certainly can prove what he and his men did to you. That's right, Cisco. I wasn't thinking of myself. I'm charging Judd and his men with attempted murder, attempted arson, malicious damage, and assault and battery, and I've got plenty of proof. Good. But it may take a little time to put them all under arrest. Why? Well, I was told they left suddenly when they heard I was in town. Rest assured, I will make every effort to throw them in jail. Well, I guess that's the best you can do. Keep me informed, will you? Why, sure. Uh, where can I get in touch with you? At my cabin in Devil Canyon. Good luck, Marshal. Thanks. Well, how did I do? I couldn't have done better myself. I don't like all this pussy footing. There they were, sitting ducks. I could have got both of them easy. Easy, huh? You had an easy time when you cornered him in the newspaper office, too, didn't you? Well, I can't help it. If you never can help it when things go wrong. Well, we'll get them my way without taking any chances. And what are you going to do? Kill them with kind words? No, Judd. I'll kill them with dynamite. <laughs> promised me to make every effort to put them all in jail. I hope it's soon. More coffee, Cisco? No, thank you. I had enough. Hey, somebody's frying a steak. That's a dynamite. Give me covered.
Drop your guns. Put your hands up. You look after them, Pancho. You means you. You look after them. Dead gun. <laughs> Cisco, you, uh, you catch him, huh? Now we turn him all over to the marshal. Of course, Pancho. Get my horse, will you? It takes brains to operate a deal like this, and I... We've got good news for you, marshal. We captured Judd and some of his men. Uh, why... Why, that, that's wonderful. Yes, it certainly is. We are glad you think so. Uh, where are they? I'll take them off your hands. Why? So you can turn them loose again? What do you mean by that? Keep your hand away from their gun. Pancho, take it. You mean I've gone before you shoot yourself? Judd and his men tried to dynamite Jared's shack with us inside. There was only one other man who knew where that shack was, and that was he. Now why should he tell Judd? Because he's no good make believe what ain't straight. And there was only one other man who knew that the real deputy was coming here, and that was you, Mayor. You had him killed. You're the brains behind the trouble here, not Judd. Why, Cisco, you're, you're out of your mind. I tell you, Judd is the one who... I'm dying. Take me to a doctor. Well, you are going home, Ray. You won't need a doctor. You will need an undertaker. Press is rolling again, boys. And it'll never stop from here on in. For me, Cisco, they can take this Sundance down and give it back to the Indians. <laughs> Why you laugh? It's so funny to have your neck stretched out. Aren't you a little mixed up? Read this. State to hang criminals if found guilty. Now read this. Cisco and Pancho honor guests at a reception. Oh, Cisco! Oh, Pancho! <laughs> the Cisco Kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs>
Hope you enjoyed The Cisco Kid, starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo. I never get tired of Leo Carrillo's uh, new words that he comes up with during every show. They're fantastic. It adds a lot of comic relief, and it was just wonderful to watch. I'm Bob Terry. Thanks again for joining us. We hope to see you again on down the trail. We hope you'll shop with Wild West Toys at ToyGunTown.com. Have a great day.